Today, we have the top PWHL highlights of Boston at Minnesota on March 13th. Here tonight. We're going to take that shot from time to time here tonight. Cummins has the ref cam. Kunto, the other referee. Dockery and Todd are the linesmen. So here we go from St. Paul, the XL Energy Center. Boston has won the season series so far. Two wins to one loss. And Minnesota again with a regulation win can get back into a first place tie with Toronto and Montreal. But they've got to get all three points in regulation to do so. Here's Boston back in its own zone. It's going to be bounced off the near wing side. And you could tell who was the best and who was the worst. And now all of a sudden it's like it's kind of up for grabs for anybody. And with Toronto's nine game win streak, they charged to the top of the league where Minnesota and Montreal had been battling for that top spot all season long. Boston's not far behind Minnesota. So it is definitely a battle down the stretch here with just about, what, two months left of, of play, not including the gap for the World Championship. So a lot on the line in the last uh, handful of games of the regular season. And again, Minnesota, if they can win it in regulation tonight, they'll have 30 points as well, and it'll be a three-way tie for first in the league going into the weekend. This is Shopsol coming in. To chase it down in the corner. She's quickly locked up. And puck is taken away by Krizova. Krizova lugs it all the way back to the Boston zone with two and a half to go in the period. At times it's been an entertaining period. We've had some scoring chances for both sides, just nothing on the scoreboard. As I say that, Hannah Brandt spins, puts it down in front. Rattray was kind of caught off balance, couldn't get a shot on. Read that play well. She got the stick in there to help break up the play, forcing the sequence out of the crease. Heisey through the logo at center, near wing to coin. The return pass is broken up. And Kendall Coin Schofield. Eight points in the last ten games, and there's a goal for Minnesota. As they get on the board first, how about Kendall Coin Schofield? Stand red hot. She knew we were talking about her, Clay. Talking about how good she's been as of late and scores another one here on this top line for Minnesota. And back behind the net, Minnesota forces a turnover up along the half wall, keeping it in down low. Heisey, no look pass out to Sco Kendall Point Schofield. And that's what teammates who work well together are able to do. Heisey knew Point Schofield was going to be parked out front ready to. So we talked about how big that goal was for Minnesota at the end of that first period for a couple reasons. You can add that to the list as well, just knowing that Boston has had a tougher time battling back when heading, when being down heading into intermission. Sophie Jenks, the Patty Kazmaier Award winner last year out of Ohio State. There are a ton of Patty Kazmaier Award winners on the ice here tonight for both teams. Yeah, we usually show a graphic of it. I don't know if we're going to have enough room on our graphic here today to show them all. <laughs> Two on one. Oh, the backhand. Hillary Knight trying to drive it home. Couldn't get the wood on it. Now Mueller takes a chop at it. And Kendall Coyne Schofield will bring it back for Minnesota. The Patty Kashmire Award has been narrowed down to the top ten finalists. That will be announced during the Women's Frozen Four coming up here in a couple of weeks in New Hampshire. This is going to come all the way down. No ice. Held in by Bookbun. Keller trying to evade the defense. Got it to the line, not out. Bookbinder fanned on it. Now some room here for Shopsville. Jopsall takes it to the circle. Great poke check. And it's cleared by Minnesota. Jopsall already has two goals against Minnesota this season. Was looking for a third, but he got a handful of games left to play. That's not when you want to be trying to battle for position. You want to be set up for success ahead of time. Yeah. And they can do that here with some wins in March at the XL Energy Center. Yeah, that break for the World Championships is going to be interesting. We were talking with Courtney Kessel, the head coach of Boston, about that. Professionalism for these players is really going to be tested as players try to stay sharp 
while they're on that break, whether they're playing in the World Championships or not. Centering pass for Tapani. Look out. Oh, that was steered wide. Maybe Hillary Knight got a piece of it. Couldn't tell. And Minnesota's able to chop it out of the zone. Nice hustle by Buterak to yeah. get the icing waved off. Great, great work there. Emily Brown can't clear it out. Turned over out in front. Sophia Cunning, her back pass to Buterak. Just missed her. Minnesota sort of comes in again on side with Fleming. Takes a big bump from Sidney Moore in the Minnetonka native. Minnesota holds it in with 13 and a half to go here in the second. Loose puck in behind. Minnesota trying to take advantage. Coin Schofield, her eyes got as big as a pie plate there for a second as that puck was laying behind the net. Nobody on it. There's a drive that's broken up. And Minnesota scores on the deflection in front. Great four check. And Michaela Kava gets her first goal in a long time. She'd gone 10 games without a point, and she buries one here to make it 2 0. Well, Coach Courtney Kessel and the rest of Boston on the bench there is going to be pulling their hair out after this one. It was a miscommunication back behind the net that allowed Minnesota to get on this puck. And it was kind of an odd play. And like you said, Minnesota realized the opportunity. Nobody skates to the puck for Boston. Minnesota gets on it. And great work to keep this play alive. And Kendall Coyne Schofield from down low is able to bank this one in. Oh, my. Minnesota go. Her second. Yeah, Aaron. Panic against Grant. And Minnesota controls the third period faceoff. And the Minnesota power play has been one of its shortcomings this year. Just three power play goals on the season. And Minnesota, if they really want to put a dagger in this game and in the overall energy and momentum of this Boston team, a power play goal here would get the job done for that. So we'll see if Minnesota can take advantage of this opportunity. Taylor Gerard shorthanded, lugs it back to the Minnesota line. She'll play the cross for Brandt. Brandt tries to center for Keller, who is knifing in from the far wing. Minnesota bottled up in their own zone here with a minute and 15 seconds gone by in this penalty. And for Boston, they forced overtime three times this season when trailing after two periods of play. They do not have a regulation win in that situation and just one overtime or shootout win in that situation. So Minnesota in good hands right now with this two-goal lead, but still a lot of this game left to be played. Point Schofield, a two-point game so far. She's out in front in the slot. Jakes plays it off to the far wing for Kava. Back for Heisey now on the near wing side. Juggled off her stick. Tried to get it down to Sheppers. Out of her reach. Just five seconds to go in this penalty time, and that's going to do it as Dardangelo brings it back the other way. So Minnesota's power play goes by the boards to Connie back into the play for Boston. Well picked off. Here's Coyne Schofield. She's been outstanding tonight, and that goes over the shoulder of Aaron Franklin. Everything from her has been on net tonight. Goal and assist for the Minnesota captain. Here's Mueller. Fed it to an open wing. Tapani will sweep it back in deep. Here's Mueller again. For the point for Kaylee Frackton. Frackton holds it in, but Minnesota is able to clear. This is going to drift in on the goaltender, so no icing. And Franco is going to hold they have been able to pick up points in many different ways when they're away from their home rink. Oh, centering pass from Steckline to Heise. And now it's getting physical out in front of the Boston net. Remember, they trying to get the next one and cut this lead in half. Minnesota leading 2-0 late. Shot from Kraken from high. The slot didn't get through. And that has been the case a lot of the game here tonight. Minnesota's blocked a ton of shots. There's another one. That time it was Lee Steckline doing the honors. Boston still dangerous here behind the net. Kratkin now knocked down. Kelly Panic comes over. Plymouth, Minnesota native trying to move it out for the team in purple. Mueller got it to the point. Kratkin back for Mueller. 
along the half wall. Bratkin and Mueller playing a game of catch up high, and now down low is Tapani. Tapani driven to the outside. Oh, Tapani took a hard hit from Sophie Jakes right in front of our ref cam. No penalty call. Looks like she said something to the official as well, but no arm up. A nice hard hit by Minnesota. Bouncing puck here at center. Gathered up. Ratchet will hand off to Brandt. There's a drive that whistles high and wide for D. Girolamo. And Minnesota got a stick on that, was able to deflect it up and over the net. Some room for Kendall Coyne Schofield. Overskated it, had to go back to neutral. And yet a two-point night so far for the Minnesota captain. He's got a goal and an assist. Boston. Active out in front, taken away by Heisen. Here's Taylor Heisen. Taking it wide. Drops it back. One timer goes wide for Michaela Kava. Kava already with a goal tonight. Here's Brandt again. He sent it across. Boston's able to gain the zone. Under 10 minutes to go past the halfway point of the third period. Minnesota holding on to a 2-0 lead. Eyeing those three points for a regulation win. Trying to get back into first place. This is Lauren Gable. Throws it across behind Taylor Girard. Now Minnesota trying to take advantage the other way. A three on two, but it's slow to materialize. Now here comes Gigi Marvin in on the far wing. Cold dropper stick nicely by Melissa Channel. Channel just standing her ground against the vet. Minnesota has done so well defensively here tonight, breaking up plays with both their sticks and their bodies, blocking shots, clogging up shooting lanes. It's been tough for Boston to get anything to the middle of the ice tonight, which is why Minnesota's been able to keep them off the score sheet so far. Another shot that doesn't get through, blocked by Minnesota. Keller jumps on it on the far wing side. Minnesota gathers it up, moves it out. Clear to George, leading the break. As Shepherds going toward the net, but good back check by Boston. Under nine minutes to play. This is going to bounce in on Hensley. She'll leave it for her defense. Got Steven at 17 apiece. And now things are going to start to get scary for Boston with just eight and a half minutes to go. They've got to try to find that next goal. Give themselves some confidence going down the home stretch of this game. Miss Frankel, she's been active all night with her paddle. Got it away, but there is the George to George Sapani. Absolutely, you could kill two birds with one stone here and give a little boost to your special teams. Here's Zumwinkle. On the near wing side, being very patient. Finally, a wrister down low. Panic was trying to tip it on. Zumwinkle, one time she scores! And there it is! the season might have just put this one away for Minnesota and what a shot it was that was a beauty let's take another look at it play starts up high pass over to Zumwinkle in the circle who just rips it home and Frankel was over there she was just a little deep in the crease when the shot came through was not able to cut Lauren Gable able to get it in deep there goes Frankel Extra skater on. Here's more. Wrist shot. Hit her own player. That was Hillary Knight. Minnesota comes up with it. Natalie Bookbinder sends it off the glass and it leaks out of the zone. Good play by the former Wisconsin Badger. 2.10 to go. Boston holds the zone. Knocked down in front, and Minnesota's going to send it down. They score. Taylor Heising puts a bow on this one. It's 4-0. Well, Minnesota was doing a great job in the last couple minutes here of getting in front of shots, not letting the lock get through to Hensley. And another one here, chopped down by Minnesota. And Heisey scores the empty net goal. 
15 seconds to go. Minnesota trying to get greedy here. They want another one. Flaherty a drive. Buderak will chase it down into the corner. Here's Bryant playing it to the point. Three seconds to go. Long drive. Kramer that carries wide. And that's going to do it. First career shutout in the PWHL for Nicole Hensley as Minnesota's back in first place in a tie with Montreal and Toronto.